Today we're going to show you how to splice a couple of bottles together using the asymmetric splicing technique. Start off with four equal sized bottles. We're using two litre bottles here but it'll work on um, any size bottle with uh, straight walls. Remove the label. Cut the cap ring off. Use mineral turpentine to remove the label glue. Cut the base off the bottle. And then trim the bottom neatly. Uh, you should now have four bottles cleaned with the cap rings removed, labels and label glue and the bottom neatly trimmed. Get yourself a flat bottom saucepan and fill it about 3 cm full of water and then heat it up to about 72 degrees Celsius. I've got a thermocouple set up here with the thermometer to tell me how hot it is. Okay, once the water reaches about 72 degrees uh, get your bottle and put it flat up against the base for a couple of seconds. Take it out and test fit it into your other bottle. If it doesn't fit, do it again. And there, it should slide in nice and firm. Uh, after you shrink the uh, bottle, you need to completely dry the edge. Uh, if you don't dry it, then uh, it won't curl evenly. Uh, get yourself an old frying pan. Uh, don't use the one you normally use for food. And I've made a ring out of cardboard that helps to keep the bottle uh, upright while we curl the edge. So get your shrunken bottle, hold the cardboard, and then slowly rotate the bottle. Just a very gentle pressure. And before long, you end up with a curled edge. Take your shrunken section and sand about two centimeters the shrunken part with some plain sandpaper. And then take your other bottle and sand the inside about two centimeters again. Um, get the two bottles, put them together. Now make sure they're well aligned. What I do is I just give it a spin and if there's a wobble I just tap it on the table to straighten out the joint. That looks pretty good. Get yourself some electrical tape. Uh, I use it as masking tape. Then very carefully run the tape right along the edge. Just as close as you can get it, very carefully. Just one tape. Now put another piece of tape onto the other section of bottle. Again, right onto the edge. With, mask, with electrical tape, it's actually easy to correct any mistakes that you make. Once you've done that, just mark it with a marker so you know where they'll align. And then the two bottles will come apart and go back exactly and rest up against the tape. Um, get your bottle, pull it apart and I've just made a block with some caps on it to help me while I'm gluing. Screw those in. Now we're using Sikaflex 11FC to do the this first glue or you could use PL Premium as well. So Put the glue on. some glue on the inside of the other one. And then use a skewer stick to spread that glue. Try to get it as evenly as possible. Spread. Okay. Once you've done that, then find your marks. over the top nice and evenly 
until it comes together and it, the bottle will come against stops uh, the other tape. And now let that cure for about a day. Once the glue cures, you can just peel off the excess. It comes off very easily. And then remove the tape. Save the tape because you'll need it in a minute. And you should end up with a nice clean edge. Get your next two bottles and we want to cut a 5 cm sleeve of one and a small section of the other. So, mark out and the same with the other one, a small section. That's roughly square. Take your sleeve, you want to do a straight cut. and cut all the way along the line. And then for the smaller section, again do a straight cut. And you want to end up with a square. Take your sleeve and sand the inside. Then take your little square and sand the inside again. And put some tape right along the edges again. flush with the end and then do the same to the other side. And that sleeve is now ready for gluing. Put the sleeve right over the center of the join. Get it nice and lined up and grab a piece of tape. And you want to pull those too tight so they line up. You just want to check all the way around and adjust it if necessary that it's right over the middle. Once you've done that, get the uh, two pieces of tape from before and just run those along the edge of the sleeve. Once you've done that, grab your marker again and just mark where the center of the sleeve is and also mark the sleeve just to make sure you get it around the right way. Then remove the sleeve and sand the center section of the bottle. And now the sleeve is ready for gluing. Now we're going to glue the um, sleeve on and we use PL Premium for that. So apply the glue to the bottle. So what I've done here is uh, laid out the sleeve and just taped it down so we can put glue on there. a stick and just spread it evenly okay, now the sleeve once you finish spreading all the glue remove the sleeve Very messy. Make sure you get your marks the right way around. And just get all the air bubbles out. Once 
once it's into the new tape to secure it. Let it cure. Once the glue is cured, remove the tape from the sleeve and then sand about two centimeters either side of the join. Then um, put some glue PL Premium on the patch itself and also some on the bottle, especially into the join and a little bit on either side. Using your skewer stick again, just spread that out evenly, and then spread it out on the patch. over the join and again work out any bubbles that are inside there nice and even and then using tape secure the patch while it cures once the glues had a chance to cure for a couple of days remove the tape holding down the patch And you can also remove you can also remove the tape from around the splice which should give you a nice clean edge and that splice is ready to be used on your rockets uh, but because um, the splice is now stronger than the rest of the bottle um, if you go above about 120 psi the next will start stretching so the next uh, few steps I'll show you how to reinforce the bottle even further. Take your remaining two bottles that you cut the sleeves out of, cut away that central ridge. And do that to both bottles. Now you need to cut off the neck of the bottle and do that to both bottles. Get your reinforcing sleeve and cut just past this little ridge, it's important. Cut it into about thirds. And do that to both. Take your bottle and then slide the reinforcing sleeves over the end until the ridges are lined up. Do this to both sides. And you'll end up with little splits, um, little gaps of about two millimeters. So the next step you need to do is grab some glass strapping tape. Now it's a good idea to get someone to help you do this. And then wrap it a couple of times all the way around the bottle. And do it as tightly as you can. And there you have it. The um, bottle is now ready to use in your rocket. Um, and it should withstand about 140 psi. Once you've made a several of these bottles, you can then join them with tornado tubes or tornado couplings. Stick your bearing around there. So my next bottle, screw them together. And you can make 